it's always hollow when you feel like you can't bring full justice to victims. Um, but I don't know that there's anything that we did that we could have done differently. You know, he ran. He went to hide. Nobody could find him for eight days. And people were looking. I still feel hollow from it. That there are these people out there who will never get it. Um, their day in court. I mean, I learned early on that um, you don't get a lot necessarily from a, a, a verdict where someone's convicted because it doesn't undo the crime. So in some sense, that can be hollow too. Uh, but um, you do feel a sense of justice when a conviction happens, uh, but you learn that justice doesn't always happen in a courtroom. So um, there are criminals that we would put in jail that I almost yearly toast to a long life um, because they're in a place where I hope that they're um, able to examine what they've done. Um, and be reminded of the horribleness that they inflicted on the world. I don't think there's anybody who was involved in this case who wouldn't have liked to uh, face him. You know, you don't you don't get to go beat him up or anything, but you get to look him in the eye and really bring home what they did and the evilness of what they did. And nobody got that. Yeah. Yeah, I guess chicken shit is the word that comes to mind. And I know that's not very proper, but, um, you know, he spent a lot of time and a lot of effort and used his intelligence to accomplish um, what he sought to do, as evil as it was. And then in the end, can't even face what he did. Chicken shit. <laughs>